God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art in all places, and fillest all things, treasury of good things, and giver of life. Come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lord of mercy, 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 glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy. And according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I'd have given it. With whole burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure and desire, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. O oh God, be attentive unto helping me, O oh Lord, be pleased to help me. Let them be shamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to shame that desire evils against me. Let them be turned back straightway in shame that say unto me, Well done, well done. Let them be glad and rejoice in thee, all that seek after thee, O oh God. And let them that love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But as for me, I am poor and needy, O oh God, come unto mine aid. My helper and my deliverer art thou, O Lord, make no long tarrying. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication, and thy truth hearken unto me in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thy hands. 
I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, and to thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks unto thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, O thou who takest away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, O thou who sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, Be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, as we do put our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, the begotten of the Father before all worlds, by the light, very God and very God, the begotten not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate with the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us in the conscious Pilate, and the suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou, without corruption, didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. I shall open my mouth, and it will be filled with the Spirit, and I shall speak forth to the Queen and Mother. Sing joy for sing in her praises, and I shall be led to sing of her wonders. Most holy Theotoko, save us. When the great archangel saw the O Immaculate One, thou living book of Christ, sealed by the Spirit, he cried unto thee, Hail, vessel of gladness, through whom the curse of our first mother is loosed. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Hail, Virgin, Bride of God, thou uplifter of Adam and death, knell of Hades. Hail, O all blameless one, thou only palace of the only King. Hail, thou fiery throne of the Almighty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, thou from whom alone didst blossom the unwithering rose. Hail thou who didst bear the fragrant apple. Hail immaculate maiden, fragrance of the king of all and salvation of the world. Oh, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Hail thou treasure house of peace. 
purity through which we rose up from our fall. Hail, Lady, sweet scented lily, perfuming the faithful, the fragrant incense, and most precious myrrh. As a living and copious fountain of Theotokos, do thou strengthen those who hear thy praises, and are joined together in a spiritual covenant for thy service, and in thy divine glory, make them worthy of crowns of glory, most holy Theotokos, save us. As a clear and untilled field, thou didst make the divine ear of grain to sprout. Hail thou living table that held the bread of life. Hail thou unfailing fountain of living water. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Hail, O mystic heifer, that it's bear the spotless calf. Hail, you lamb who didst conceive the Lamb of God, that taketh away the sins of the whole world. Hail, thou fervent intercessor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, O radiant dawn, which alone does bear Christ the Son, the dwelling place of light. Hail, thou who didst dispel the darkness and reduce to naught the demons of gloom. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hail, thou only gate, through which the word alone did pass. Hail, Lady, for by thy birth giving the bars and gates of Hades were burst asunder. Hail, thou most worthy of all praise, divine entry for the saved. of faith, O all praise one, we cry out unto thee. Hail, thou mountain fertile with the fullness of the Spirit. Hail, thou lamp of light and vase of mana, to the senses of the reverent most sweet. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Hail, immaculate lady, mercy seat of the world. Hail, thou ladder which raised all from earth to grace. Hail, thou bridge which truly leads for the, from death to life. All who sing thy praises. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Hail, O immaculate one, one higher than the heavens, thou who didst without pain carry within thee the foundation of the earth. Hail, O seashell, that didst dip in thy blood the divine purple for the king of the powers of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, O Lady, who didst truly bear the lawgiver that freely blotted out the transgressions of all. O unimaginable depth, O high ineffable, O maiden unwedded, through whom we are become divine. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. With hymns we praise thee, O thou who didst weave for the world a crown not woven by hands. Hail to thee, O virgin, do we cry, fortress of all mankind, and rampart and strength and refuge divine. All creation was amazed at thy divine glory. one who didst bear the way of life and save the world from the deluge of sin. Hail, bride of God, thou of great report and mighty fame. Hail, thou dwelling place of the master of creation. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Hail, O immaculate one, stronghold and fortress of mankind, and place of hallowed glory, death knell of Hades, bridal chamber full of light. Hail, joy of the angels, hail, help of those who faithfully pray unto thee. Most holy Theotokos, save us. 
Hail, O Lady, fiery chariot of the word, living paradise, having the Lord, the tree of life in my midst. His sweetness gives life to those who partake in faith, even though they be subject to corruption. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Strengthened by thy might, faithfully we cry unto thee, Hail, city of the King of all, great in glory and repute, of whom all these were clearly spoken, O mount unhewn and depth beyond all measure. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Now spacious tabernacle of the word, hail, O immaculate one. Now see shall which didst proffer the divine pearl, hail, O wondrous O wondrous one, thou art the reconciliation to God, O Theotokos, of all who ever bless thee. As we look on, we might celebrate the sacred and all honorable feasts of the Mother of God. Come, let us clap our hands together and glorify the God whom she bore. Holy Theotokos, save us. Immaculate bridal chamber of the word, and aid to the sanctification of us all. Hail, O pure maiden, whom the prophets did proclaim. Hail, thou ornament of the apostles. Most holy Theotokos, save us. From thee the dew distilled that quenched the flame of polytheism. Wherefore we cry out unto thee, O Virgin, Hail, O dewy fleece, which Gideon did foresee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Behold, we cry out unto thee, Hail, be thou our haven and our port, when we voyage on the sea of tribulations, and through the snares of the adversary. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O cause of joy, favor us with reason to cry out unto thee. Hail, thou bush that burns yet unconsumed, thou light-filled clouds which unceasingly shelters the faithful. The godly-minded children worship not the creature rather than the Creator. But trembling upon the threat of fire in manly fashion, they rejoice and say, Who will praise the Lord and God of our fathers? Blessed are thou, most holy Theotoko, save us. To thee we sing a hymn and cry, Hail, chariot of the mystic sun, true vine that did produce the ripe cluster of grapes, dripping wine to gladden the souls of those who with faith do glorify thee. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Hail thou bride of God, who didst bear the healer of mankind, the mystic staff from which blossomed the unfading flower. Hail, O sovereign lady, through whom we are filled with joy and made inheritors of life. Most holy Theo, save us. The tongue of eloquence has not power to sing thy praises, O sovereign lady. For thou wast exalted above the seraphim. Without despair, Christ the King, do thou now implore him to deliver from all harm those who faithfully reverence thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To the ends of the earth do praise and bless thee, and cry out unto thee, Hail, pure maiden, scroll on which the finger of God did inscribe his word. Do thou now implore him, O Theotokos, to write down thy servants in the book of life. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. We thy servants bend the knee of our hearts and implore thee, O pure maiden. Incline thine ear and save us, who are engulfed in tribulations. And guard thy city, O Theotokos, from every assault of her enemies. The three holy children in the furnace, the child of the Theotokos, say, 
Then once that time now is its fulfillment, and the whole world gathers to see. All ye works praise the Lord, and magnify him unto all ages. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Thou didst receive the word within thee, O pure maiden, and didst bear him who beareth all things. Thou didst nourish him with milk, who by his who by his nod dost sustain all the universe. To him we sing all ye works, praise the Lord, and magnify him unto all ages. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Moses perceived in the burning bush the great mystery of thy birth giving, O chaste and holy virgin. The children prefigured this most clearly when they stood in the midst of the flame and were unburned. Wherefore we praise thee unto all ages. Most holy Theotoko, save us. We who of old were made naked by deceit, have been clothed in a garment of incorruption by thy conception. And we who were sitting in the darkness of transgressions have come to see the light. O maiden, who art the dwelling place of the light, wherefore we praise thee unto all ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through thee the dead are made to live, for thou didst bear the life essential. Those who before were speechless now find useful eloquence. Lepers are cleansed, diseases are driven away, and the multitude of aerial spirits are vanquished. O virgin salvation of mortals, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. We hail thee, O all blessed one, who does bring forth salvation for the world through which we have been raised from earth to the heights above. O pure maiden, thou shelter and stronghold, bulwark and fortress of all who sing. All your works praise the Lord, and magnify him unto all ages. Let all earth for mortals rejoice in spirit, bearing their last, and let the nature of bodiless minds celebrate with honor the holy festival. Faithful become partakers of joy, so that we may further cry out unto thee. Hail, do thou deliver us from perpetual temptation, from barbaric attack, and from all the multitude of evils which we mortals suffer for the number of our sins. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Thou hast appeared to enlighten us and be our confirmation. Wherefore we cry aloud to thee, Hail, O unsetting star, which didst introduce into the world the might Son, help your maiden who didst open up fast closed Eden, hail fiery pillar which doth lead man's nature into life above. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Let us stand with reverence in the house of our God and let us cry aloud, Hail, Mistress of the world, hail Mary, Lady of us all, hail thou who alone art blameless among women and beautiful. Hail, O vessel, which didst receive unto thyself the myrrh, which was never before outpoured. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Hail, O ever-Virgin, thou, dove, who didst bring forth him who is merciful. Hail, boast of all the righteous saints, and crown of those who strive. Hail, ornament divine of all the just, and of all of us the faith for our salvation as well. Both now and ever, and unto ages of age. Amen. Spare, O God, thine inheritance, and look, overlook now all our sins. For as intercessor in thy sight, O Christ, there stands before thee, she that on earth conceived thee without seed. When in thy great mercy thou hast willed to be shaped in a form that was not thine own.
shows him the incarnate presence of Christ. And the shepherds heard, and as running as to a shepherd, they beheld him as an unspotted lamb, being nurtured at Mary's breast, and heard they him and said, Hail, Mother of the Lamb and of the Shepherd, hail, full of reason and doubt she. Hail, bulwark against foes invisible. Hail, opener of the gates of paradise. Hail, for that which all the heavens and earth hail. Hail, for all the earth does dance its joy together with the heavens. Hail, never silent voice of the apostles. Hail, invisible courage of those who strive. Hail, thou firm foundation of the faith. Hail, thou shining token of grace. Hail, thou through whom Hades was laid bare. Hail, thou through whom we are clothed with glory. Hail, O bride, without bridegroom. Hail thou who redeemest 
us from barbarous superstitions. Hail thou who rescue us from works unclean. Hail thou who causes the worship of fire to cease. Hail thou who allayest the flame of suffering. Hail guide of the wisdom of the faithful. Hail joy of all generations. Hail, O bride, without Wherefore, overcome by thine ineffable. 
unspeakable wisdom, he cried out, Alleluia. 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 fruits of our nature to the planter of created things, the world presenteth the God-bearing martyred saints in offering unto thee, O Lord. Through their earnest entreaties, keep thy church in deep peace and divine tranquility, through the pure Theotokos, O thou who art greatly merciful. 
Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Yara Borham, 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 Yara Borham. Gospody for Milo, 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 Kirielason, 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 Kirielason. O Christ our God, who art worshipped and glorified at all times, at every hour, in both heaven and on earth, who art long suffering and plenteous in mercy and compassion, who lovest the just man, showest mercy upon the sinner, and who callest all men to repentance through the promise of blessings to come. Receive, O Lord, at this very hour our supplications and direct our lives in the way of thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds aright, cleanse our thoughts, deliver us from all affliction, trouble, and distress. Come pass us about with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by them we may attain unto the unity of faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto the ages of ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond comparison than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the Word, and art truly Theotokos, who magnify thee. Bless, Father, in the name of the Lord. May God have compassion upon us, and bless us, and may he show the light of his countenance upon us, and be merciful unto us. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 most holy talk or save us. O Lady, bride of God, spotless, blameless, pure and immaculate virgin, thou who without corruption, by thy glorious birth giving, has united God the Word to man and join the fallen nature of our race to heavenly things, who alone art the hope of the hopeless, the help of those who do battle, the ready help of those who flee unto thee, and the refuge of all Christians. Despise me not, an accursed sinner, though I have rendered myself unworthy by my shameful thoughts, words, and deeds, and through indolence have become a slave to the pleasures of life, but as the mother of God, who lovest mankind, mercifully have compassion upon me, a sinner and a prodigal, and receive my prayer, though it be offered unto thee by unworthy lips, and using thy boldness as a mother, importune the, thy son, our God, our Lord and Master, that he may open to me also the tender compassions of his goodness, so as to overlook my numberless transgressions, and turn me to repentance, and show me forth as the zealous doer of his commandments. And because thou art merciful, compassionate, and benevolent, be thou ever near me in this present life as an ardent help and protection, defending me from the assaults of adversaries and leading me to salvation. And at the time of my departure from this life, care for my miserable soul and drive far from it the dark visions of evil demons. And in the fearful day of judgment, deliver me from eternal punishment and present me as an inheritor of the ineffable glory of thy Son, our God. May this be my lot, O Lady, most holy Theotokos, through thy mediation and help, through the grace and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, to whom are due all glory, honor, and worship with his unoriginate Father and his all-holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And grant unto us, O Master, when we depart to sleep, repose of body and soul, and protect us from the murky sleep of sin and from all the dark pleasures of the night. Calm the impulses of passions and quench the fiery darts of evil which are craftily thrown against us. Check the turbulence of our flesh and still all earthly and material thoughts. And grant us, O God, a watchful mind, a prudent reason, a vigilant heart, a tranquil sleep, free from all the fantasies of Satan. Raise us up again at the time of prayer, strengthened in thy commandments, holding steadfastly within us the remembrance of thy judgments. Grant us grace to glorify thee all through the night, that we may praise and bless and glorify thine all-honorable and majestic name, O the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most glorious ever virgin and blessed Theotokos, present our prayer to thy, son, to thy Son, our God, and intercede with him, that through thee he may save our souls. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit is my protection. O Holy Trinity, glory to thee. 
In thee, O Mother of God, I place all my hope. Keep me under thy protection. The wretched soul and lowly life, forsake me not and depart not from me because of my extravagance and wickedness. Give not access to the evil demon to rule with his might this mortal body of mine, but hold me by my wretched, feeble hand. Lead me in the path of salvation. Yea, O holy angel of God, guardian and protector of my wretched soul and body, forgive me all wherewith I have heretofore saddened thee all the days of my life. And through this day, I, and though this day I have sinned, be thou my shelter this night. Keep me from all the wiles of the enemy, that I may not anger God with any sin. Intercede with the Lord for me, that he may confirm me in his fear and show me forth as a worthy servant of his goodness. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all-immaculate, all-blameless Holy Mother, at the supplication of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the saints of the Church of the Holy Resurrection, the patron and the protectors of our holy community, the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Amen. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Forgive me, a sinner. God, forgive me, Holy Father. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy and for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. And for our fa Father and Metropolitan Saba and all of our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy. And for the welfare of our armed forces. Lord, have mercy. And for our fathers and brethren absent from among us. Lord, have mercy. And for those who hate us and those who love us. Lord, have mercy. And those who are kind to us and minister unto us. Lord, have mercy. And for those who have requested our prayers, unworthy though we be. Lord, Lord, have mercy. And for deliverance of captives. Lord, have mercy. And for travelers by land, sea, and air. Lord, have and mercy. And for those who lie in sickness. Lord, Lord have mercy. And let us also pray for abundance of the fruits of the earth. Lord, have mercy. And for the soul of every Orthodox Christian. Lord, have mercy. Let us bless God fearing leaders, Orthodox bishops, the founders of this holy church, and our parents and teachers and all of our fathers and brethren gone before us, the Orthodox who here and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy. And let us also say for ourselves, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy.
God bless you. We welcome you out to the second Akathist uh, hymn of Lent 2024. So in 2 Corinthians, Paul says that all of God's promises find their yes in Christ. So everything that we see in scripture is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So we know every image, the temple, the law, everything in the old covenant is fulfilled in Christ. But that couldn't happen unless the Theotokos, the Panagia, the mother of God said yes so that Christ might be born in her womb. So she is, she helps facilitate that. And that's why on last Monday we said, Today is the beginning of our salvation on Annunciation because without this young girl, who was probably 15 years old, saying yes to the Archangel Gabriel, saying, let it be to me according to your word, that none of this could happen without her. So we give thanks to her, we praise her, and we love her. So God bless you all. Um, tomorrow night, Great Vespers uh, Confession after Great Vespers, and then Sunday will be the second Sunday of Great Lent. God bless you. Hot Good boy.